What's up, peoples? It's a terraformer playing Shining Stars, and today we finally return to here. I don't know what was up with the music there. It got a little low. Maybe it was because I just collected a star. Oh man, I'm doing episodes right after each other, and I, I totally haven't revealed that, like, the first time I did it. Oh man. Um, yeah, again, I, I don't really know which stars are which in this level. This this sucks, so I'm gonna do it first. <laughs> uh, I, uh, uh, I gotta try and feel my way inside of this thing so I can, like, have some sort of visual, because I can't really do that a lot. <laughs> I don't like doing that. But, like, it's... Oh, this, this can't... Uh, uh, stay. Stay. Stuff. <laughs> it's a great, a great way to start the episode, is just me complaining about wall kicks and you not being able to see me. I, I did it. But I'm gonna have to do that multiple times, unfortunately. In fact, yeah. Because I think that's maybe a secret star, or... I, I don't know, I remember if it's, like, star-specific or what. I remember thinking, like, where the heck is that star? There's red... yeah, there's the star over here. Hopefully, yeah, good. The star one. Gotta do the stars in order, like I did with the last episode really well. If I remember what the star is, I will try my best. But it's not really that important. Oh boy, a maze. <laughs> I'm being really harsh on this hack, and... Oh man, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I mean... I, like, if there's a maze in any hack, I'm gonna be like, eh. <laughs> so, it's not like, really particularly special to this one. It's just how I feel about mazes. And how they're done in this. And I mean, I can just kind of look through the, the walls sometimes, but... <laughs> It's not really working too well. And uh, there's an exciting red coin in here too, so I may have to return. And it's right by that? Uh. <laughs> Stop it, don't do that. <laughs> I did read before recording that this was the first hack to use Kaze's extended objects patch. Which is like sunshine and galaxy blocks. Which that's pretty cool. But, um. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, that, nah, I'm just gonna. That, that's it's pretty cool. Very at random friends and stuff. Which, I don't know. I, I guess Star 5 and 6 are good places for them. You know, because then you have a good way of land. But, I mean, I played this before, so I should have a good way of land. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. This episode's gonna be like super negative, and I'm not really sure why. I'm just gonna not say anything, I guess. You know, this is gonna be part of the content, the fast forwarding variety. Oops. I was able to, after recording yesterday's episode, get my N64 to capture correctly now, with the, um, the component cables, which I don't know what the issue is. Um, I guess it's something with my capture card, maybe all, like, all or most of them have this issue where they can't really do the, um, the 240p, which shows up fine on my TV, but they, um, it's just like, it, does, it just shows a black screen, but some games run in 48i, like, Turok 2, and I think maybe the Star Wars game I have, it's, um, what, what, why, am I, why am I here? <laughs> There's nothing here! <laughs> so, um, you know, one is the Rogue Squadron, what is that? It's nothing there, it's not let me in though. And, yeah, so those, those games can run, I, I was able to see Turok through my capture card with an Amarok, but everything else just did not exist. I guess I'll go up here. There's a red coin there. I, I can, you know what? I'll, I'll just toss it and get the one maze because at least if I'm in the maze, I'm doing activities. Whereas if I'm just in that wall jump area, I'm just like possibly falling down constantly. Which I don't really mean that's the content per se. So yeah, I was able to get the, the lines doubled to um, 480 on those games. 
I mean, it, it works good. I, I feel like maybe I need different settings, perhaps, to make it look even better or something, but, you know, for now, it's, I'm happy with it. And, um... Something else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was going with something else there. It felt, like, really uncomfortable talking and there was no music for some reason. I don't know. So this might be... That star. I was um, pointing out that I need the Vanish Cat for, which it is in a normal vanilla Vanish Cat block, not a black box. Which I guess some hacks have done that that I've played recently where they change the color of the switch box. And right here. Yeah. So I feel like that's just kind of the way I've been playing lately, is rush to get the switch cap so I can just get all the stars I can in the levels. But in 6.25 there's actually four switches, so there was a lot of cleanup in that one. It's probably best I waited until now for this star. Because, just in case there wasn't, for some reason, hmm. It's like, I just need the camera to show me enough so I can at least hit the wall the first time. Eh, but then I went into the armpit of the wall. Eh, come on. There we go. Because my control stick isn't, like, exactly to alignment of the walls. Yeah, it's centered. That's, that's good. It's okay. Like, newer hacks do that to this day. Which, it, like, kind of bothers me, but also... You know, the tools aren't really the best as well. They're kind of a pain to use, and that's why I don't really attempt to hack anymore. Also, because running out of ideas quickly, as I did with SMW. Yeah, that's, that's course three. <laughs> it's a, it's a course, alright. It can be played, as can this hack. <laughs> 